I realize some people may not have access to Adobe InDesign and may have to work in something like Microsoft Word instead or a similar program and I want to show you how you can place those decorative elements into Microsoft Word. So to begin I've created a new document and in order to uh, put those elements into it for a side uh, bar uh, you know the decorative band that we had created uh, in order to have it on you know whether the left or right side so I'm going to go up here to insert I'm going to go to pictures and I'm going to select the column that I created now when the element first gets placed into the word document it is going to be put as though it's you know in line with the text and so it'll be kind of you know stuck within a, a, a place and I you know you can rotate it and whatnot but you can't really you know move it around to other places right it's stuck in place so what we first have to do is to change the layout options here right so uh, what we also call the text wrapping and you can choose you know whether in front or behind text you know since I kind of think of it as a background element I'm just going to go ahead and choose behind text and so what I'm going to do is that now allows me to move it around pretty freely and I'm going to go ahead and put it here at the very top and very left edge you know you can even uh, move over it a little bit and then I'm going to Go ahead and pull that down, and I can, you know, pull out a little bit more, resize it, that kind of thing, and then click off of it. And the nice thing with this is that um, what happens is that no, really, unless I were to change settings up here within the the rulers and the margins, it really will make sure that I never have text that overlays on top of that band, and and it'll give it, you know, a decent little. Um, gap between that band and the white space and text. Now the the problem with doing it this way as opposed to say in something like InDesign where you can create master pages is that this will only be on this one page. Now you could just have a decorative front page to your document, your CV, whatever it is that you're creating um, and then leave the rest of them uh, plain uh, as far as like on this left side like I have here but if you wanted to have this happen throughout you actually do have to place it each time and that's why you want to make sure on each page so I'll just you know type in some text here you know come down anyway so as you get to the next page right if I do this again it's going to kind of put it in that same space so just I actually have to do that uh, I could either do it like that for each one, or I'm going to un actually undo. Or, since I know I want to keep it this size, I can copy, come down here to this page, and paste. Now, let's say that I want to have elements that run across all pages. And the nice thing with Word is, as I'm sure most know, that there are headers and footers where you can put information and visuals that will then run across all pages uh, or you can change it to where uh, as you can see up here you might have something that's different on the very first page uh, but you might have different odd and even pages and, and things like that so you know use those settings to see what might work best for you um, and so I can do the same thing here with inserting and now thinking my row and placing it here and again I want to be able to move it around some so I'm going to put behind text and then I'm going to actually move it here now this little dashed line actually shows where the header and down here for the footer where that area ends and the regular text area begins. I would not recommend putting that right up against that line because as you can see this, this one reason is having a little bit of texture on this first line 
this will show you that actually it'll be right up against each other and you want to give a little bit of much of my thing is a breathing room so I'm just gonna move it up you know about about eight spaces up here because that will also give me a chance to put in information here like you know name uh, can tab over and put um, you know email address and uh, maybe website something like this right so it gives a little bit of room between both this information that will come across all pages and that element and again I can click this element I can copy it I can come down here to the footer paste it there and I actually might want to go ahead and this is one reason for having it in the back um, you know I could have it come across here but that uh, leaves us a little less room but you know I could move it across over here or wherever you want to lay it so just figure out what works for you and then um, here I could have say um, you know maybe a page number or something like that right. okay pay, put in your page number first apparently and then <laughs> and then put in your decorative element I actually want to move that And then when I close that, as you'll see, when we get to the second page, of course it it shows it sort of doled out, um, you know, in this view. But once you print it, it will look fine. You know, so your pages, your decorative elements, and then that information that you want to come across all of those pages. So that's how you do that in Word.